You blame me, it is you know Baby. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> So today I know Dominique is going to meet up with Juan. You guys know Juan is my best friend and Alan's godfather um, to talk business stuff. And he just so happens to live directly across the street from my mom. So we're going to drop off Alan and my mom for a few hours. Dominique's going to go talk business. I'm going to be home. And my intention is just to do what? My intention is to do anything business related. I don't know if I'll be content planning, administrative things, or if I'm going to be filming. Ideally, I would like to be filming, but I need to look at my brain dump to see what I can potentially film today, because I'm kind of like, I don't want to say not in the mood to film, but also, it's just always so much easier for me to film when I'm actually going places, but because I'm not going anywhere, I'm just kind of like, I don't feel like doing my makeup and stuff, but I need to. Like, this is my job. I need to. So... Y'all gonna see me doing a little bit of work. Um, other than that, what? I don't even think anything's really happening this week. Oh, wait. Isn't there something happening Wednesday? I actually think I have an event to go to Wednesday. I totally think I actually have an event to go to Wednesday. Okay, so there's that. You guys gonna see me leave the house one time. <laughs> Got some stuff from Instacart. Quick pics. I want some feta cheese on the avocado toast. We've got some Italian blend cheese because I kind of think I want pasta later. Smoked salmon for the avocado toast and some eggs. So we're going to whip.
update on just like my mental health and my actual physical health. So I have noticed that I've been feeling really down. Um, my anxiety has been really, really bad. Depression. I felt super fatigued, always tired, just drowsy, feeling like I couldn't get anything done. And it was exhausting. And instead of just saying, okay, like I'm just in a bad place right now, I was like, I know your mental health can affect your physical health. So I went and I got blood work done and it basically came back that I had a low white blood cell count and also my hemoglobin was good it, it used to be really really bad but now it's good but they didn't get my results for my iron right away so they said it took a couple of days so that same day me and dominique went to target we picked up magnesium we picked up vitamin b12 we picked up vitamin d and i already had ashwagandha but i wasn't taking it yet so today is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today's day five of us taking it. And we both feel a difference. We both feel a lot more energetic, not as tired, not needing a nap. We'll probably have a few moments of just resting. At the end of the day, we are parents to an infant. So you're going to just naturally get tired. But we're not feeling that that fatigue, that exhaustion, that like just like I can't focus. We have been able to get a lot more things done, able to, while it's not completely spotless, able to keep our place um a little bit better more maintained there's some other factors that contribute to that but we do feel like it has helped a lot as far as our energy so my doctor actually called and let me know that my iron is low i thought my iron was fine but she was like no it actually is low so i was like okay so do you want me to just start taking my iron pills because i'm like all right i'm taking my vitamins i don't mind just throwing in the iron pills too and they're like no we're gonna go ahead and do your infusions again i don't know if you guys remember when i was pregnant at the beginning of the pregnancy i was going once a week for iron infusions and so basically we're doing that again same routine for an hour and a half then doing a 30 minute check and i'm not upset about it um I'm happy that I'm able to do these things, but I'm also like, damn, <laughs> I hate needles, man. I hate needles. I should have just kept up with my iron pills. And I'm like, fuck. But I, I, they haven't explained to me how many weeks I'm going to be doing it. Last time it was five weeks. I don't think mine is as low as it was before. So I'm going to assume they're probably going to do three or four. So it'll be once a week for maybe three or four weeks. I'm assuming. But if they tell me five, cool, I'll just do the five. I'm like, fuck. That sucks. The only good thing is it's in a it's in a cancer facility. So that part stresses me stresses me out because of just me being an empath, I'm always feeling super sad for, you know, the people in there that are getting um chemotherapy and things like that. That always just makes me so so sad. On another note, because I feel like it's a cancer place. They make sure that their patients are as comfortable as possible. So I be in there with like it's like heated blankets and a bunch of fluffy pillows. You get to lay down. It's very clean. The only thing in there is super bright. I wish it was dark, but I'm probably going to just bring an eye mask and use that time to sleep. Um, or sometimes I edit. Sometimes I watch movies because like I said, I'm in there for two hours. They give you snacks and juice. <laughs> so that part is fun. Um, oh, yeah. Here's that. <laughs> Alan is taking a nap right now. Dominique went to the gym and then he's gonna go run his errands and take the baby. <sighs> I'm not in a filming mood. I said I was possibly gonna film. I'm not in a filming mood. We're about to go through our camera roll and find something that we can post. Cause I'm not in a content creating mood right now. I can edit for sure. I can definitely do some editing. Ooh. Hold on, I gotta get something from the front door. I'll be right back. She about to get real real. I love my son to death, but he not about to be no big brother no time soon. Got about a good four to five years. Better safe than sorry. And that's on team, fuck them kids, except for Alan. Cause I ain't got time. Hi guys, this is Casey. This is she. Okay, no problem. 
Yeah, I think that's fine. Did they specify how many weeks? Um, he's got it through the 29th. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Five. <sighs> it is what it is. It is what it is. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. It's some hours later. I got real lazy. I got real, real lazy. I almost, I almost took a nap. I almost took a nap. But I had to push through because Dominique left. Took the baby with him. I said, if you're not gonna film Instagram and TikTok or long form YouTube content, then bitch, you at least need to wash your hair. At least. So, I said... Let me get my ass up and take a shower, wash my hair. And I'm actually thinking of, about doing something different. I think I'm going to do um, a twist out. And I'm thinking about doing a side part. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've been hiding from a side part because my postpartum hair loss. But it's growing back. And now it looks like I just got baby hairs. So, I'm like, okay. Because right here, all this was missing. But now it's a little some. You see? You see what I'm talking about? It's a little light. But it's growing back. All up in the front here. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to watch a little TV and do my hair. But, um, it's been a minute since I did a K-18 treatment. So, I'm going to do that. And, honestly, it's kind of my excuse to be lazy. Because with the K-18, you don't have to condition. You're not supposed to condition. You're only supposed to shampoo and then put this in and style your hair. So, it's low-key a way to have a faster wash day while still taking care of your hair. If that makes sense. So we're going to do that. And then since my hair is going to be in a twist, I don't know. I probably just won't film today. I'm going to be real with y'all. <laughs> uh, there's content in my phone that I was able to repurpose. And I think what I'm going to do, if they're still not home yet, which I'm pretty sure they'll be home by the time I finish because this takes me fucking forever, I'm going to do my nails. And then once my nails is done and my hair is done, then tomorrow when I have free time, I can film. I can get up in the morning and do some work. I can do a while Alan takes a nap. I mean, I have a little bit more... Um, opportunity to do it because i will obviously want to take my hair down show the finished product and um i'll feel like a little bit more done up you know what i'm saying so i mean at the end of the day mondays is <laughs> i'm just rambling but mondays this is typically how it goes like ideally ideally in a perfect world mondays i do all my beauty maintenance stuff and i do administrative work stuff tuesdays i typically like to bulk film wednesdays edit Thursdays, bulk film, Fridays, plan next week content, Saturday, Sunday, do nothing. That's, that's like my dream. Do we do that? No. So there's that. Twist are done. Me and babe about to just eat some pizza and wings, um, and then go to bed. So good night, and I'm gonna check out. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Alan is up already. He woke up a little earlier than usual, so I got him doing a little tummy time with all his toys just to kind of keep him calm while I get some work done. So I really, 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 really want to go to um, New York Fashion Week. And I only, flying home is not an issue. Flights are never super, super expensive, even if it is a little bit more expensive. I have a flight credit, and obviously I have plenty of places I can stay. The thing is, being a, an Atlanta content creator, a lot of brands might not necessarily invite me because of the simple fact that um, I live in Atlanta and they probably don't think I'm going. So I am doing my job. This is the part of the content creating you guys don't see. And really putting my efforts into pitching to a bunch of brands and kind of like, hey, 
are you having anything i would love to go as far as like the hair the beauty the fashion brands but like fashion shows well pitch into that too so i'm pretty much just doing everything that i can possibly do right now because fashion week is literally in a week and some change and so i would like to have a little schedule in order for me to book my flight so y'all wish me luck y'all y'all cross y'all fingers for a new york fashion week vlog because if you get one and you know if all my hard work worked and if it worked then i would be happy to create some content about how i got invited and like the efforts that you guys can you know do um to be invited as well because a lot of uh influencers big and small go to new york fashion week it's all about getting them to say okay yeah sure come you know so um I'm going to be working on that for a little bit, and I'll let y'all know what I came up with. All right, y'all. I just spent so much time pitching to different companies, well, like brands, PR agencies, and things like that, to see if we get some bites. Uh, the th crazy thing is, if, if all of these, in the magical world of all these brands replied, I would not be able to attend all of these events. However, if in my mind, I feel like if I can secure about two or three fashion shows, and about two or three events like in, like you know like uh brand events i would be happy to go and they would just need to be in days that make sense like close by it can be like the 8th and then the 13th because that's just too long away from being away from home but i feel like we can snag a good hopefully about a good like four to five four to six things <laughs> i think that's good enough especially because i cannot it's so last minute i can't go like crazy shopping to like have looks for all these events so just kind of want to keep it simple just to get my feet wet in this whole new york fashion week experience so that way come 2024 one will already know like what brands are welcome to have me at their things or um you know the process to submit um requests for these invitations obviously for like February, if I'm not mistaken, is the next New York Fashion Week. I would probably start that like the second week of January, like requesting that time. I need to look up when that week is actually. I would start maybe a month in advance opposed to a week and a half in advance. This was just kind of last minute, but we're going to see if we can pull anything. If we get no bites, we stay home. No, we're not thinking like that. Positive thinking, positive outcome. No, because on the... um. On the actual thing, it says to do it in October. Because I guess since it's a holiday thing, uh, maybe like gift sets will be out. Because it's supposed to be like me buying gifts for people. Yeah. We have Chef Dominique in the kitchen cooking. And we want to know, Chef, what's on the menu tonight? <laughs> we have uh, rice, salmon, with a little bit of sauce on top. That's some corn. Okay. Get into the salmon. Yeah. Yeah, he did that. I kind of wish we had two pieces. <laughs> oh, that look good, y'all. My man be cooking. Learn from the best. Yeah, me. Chef Casey. Sleep, sleep. 
I was in a deep sleep. Hi, booty, booty. Mommy just <laughs> Yeah, I know. You like mommy, I was gassy. You knew what was happening. How did tell me? Tell me okay. <laughs> and if you give him something, I was ordering myself close to fit. And he said, I got that is for my baby boy that's coming. And yeah, you were in it. But that took longer than usual, right? Mr. Poopy Butt. Don't be rude. Say good morning. Say good morning. Ellen. Say good morning. Say good morning. He said, Mommy, but who am I saying good morning? Look. Say hello. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to talk to them? <coughs> Bless you. So I just ate my breakfast, so now it's time to take my vitamins. I've been doing really well. Really, really well. Tomorrow makes a week. I feel like that's the best I've ever done. So this is what we're taking. Magnesium. I don't know if I showed this to you guys already. Magnesium to help with supports muscle relaxation, heart, nerve, and bone health. Um, and I've also heard that it helps with PMS symptoms. You know, taking B12. Um, this supports brain cell function, helps reduce fatigue for those low in vitamin B12 because we're always feeling super fatigued, but not since I've been taking my vitamins. Uh, we're taking D3, supports immune health, supports bone, teeth, and muscle health. And we're taking ashwagandha for stress and mood. Um, the only thing that we're missing is vitamin C, which we're going to pick up some vitamin C and start implementing that as well. Alright y'all, I am doing my makeup to go to this Instagram creators lab event to be honest with y'all i don't even want to go i don't even want to go i'm like in a bad mood now but i'm going because i need to push through um and it gives me content so yeah i don't know if y'all ever saw that meme on not meme it wasn't really a meme but like a status that kept getting shared a lot on facebook that was like it don't matter how good of a parent you are that maybe you're gonna fall off the bed that moment happened today and i am going to try to not cry but i am feeling the most mom guilt not the most but this is probably the second worst mom guilt i've felt um alan is a belly sleeper for the most part but i think he's like slowly like trying to trans out of that transition out of that because he has this thing where he likes to stick his butt in air and then like shift over to a side and like he just kind of be like reaching like you know to roll on his back or whatever so if you lay him down in any place other than the crib you have to lay him like directly in the middle it has to be ample amount of space and it has to be directly in the middle so that way even when he rolls he can't like roll off because he doesn't know how to roll from his back to his belly so it's not like he can just you know so i thought i guess honestly i don't even know what the fuck happened he had just fell asleep he was taking a nap in our bed because he doesn't like taking naps in his crib i feel like i don't know if in his mind he associates the crib with like a long sleep like hours upon hours and he'll nap in our bed with no problem so he goes he, well we put him down he nap, he's napping in our well i put him down dominic's in the gym i put him down so he can nap and i'm like okay cool it had been a good maybe like 15 minutes in i was like okay because he usually takes pretty long naps like up to an hour uh, up to two hours sometimes even longer i went i used the bathroom 
okay tmi but i had to use the bathroom if you know what i mean and i was like well since i'm going to this event he's napping let me just go ahead and bust out the shower real quick um uh, get out the shower and then just kind of chill until it's like time to meet for me to do my makeup do my hair that whole nine so i was like i open the door he's still asleep cute i leave the door open i don't put the vent on or anything because i need to be able to hear him i go in the shower I lather up the soap and I literally do this side and then I hear a thump and him start crying. So I jump out the shower, butt naked, of course, obviously, soaking wet and he's on the floor like, how do I explain it? If the bed's like this, he's like right here, sideways like this. The nightstand is right there. So I already immediately had a heart attack because our nightstand handle like kind of comes out and it's a metal so i'm like oh my god did he hit his head on that like you know what i mean he's crying i scoop him up i'm holding him and he's just let me tell you alan is a whiner he's not a crier you rarely ever see actual tears come out of his eyes when he has tears coming out of his eyes you know something's actually wrong and so he he was happy let's just say that he was just crying and i'm holding him and i'm like soaking wet and he's getting him but i don't care obviously and i'm just holding him and holding him and holding him and i'm just like are you okay okay and i'm checking his head and everything is fine he's okay i think it i don't know it just scared him um and after i called on me told him what happened came home and whatever and i just started crying because i felt so bad and i'm trying not to feel bad no how do i explain this I'm going to still feel bad, but I'm trying not to blame myself for this simple fact that there's been so many times we've left him on the bed, fine, he's in the middle, he's cool, we'll go cook, we'll go watch TV in the living room or something, and he's fine. This is the first time he's ever, like, rolled close enough to the edge to actually fall, and I don't even know like it's not making sense to me like how did you even fall like was this the first time he rolled from his back to his belly that he just you know what i mean because i don't know he just did some magic tricks or something that got his butt on the ground and me in a heart attack and me crying and just in a bad mood so dominique i gave him the bath i fed him then he fell asleep on me on the living room and i just cuddled with him i was supposed to get up and start getting ready but i just sat there and cuddled with him for a bit until i was like okay let me go ahead and start getting ready like because at first i told myself i just wasn't gonna go but i was like you know what i'm just gonna push through do what i need to do and then he's okay and i keep reminding myself of that meme for the simple fact like it's low-key kind of making me feel a little better like i'm not a bad mom i just wanted to take a shower you know it was an accident he's okay thank god but now we're just at a point okay you're gonna be napping in the bed i guess we can't do nothing you're gonna have he's gonna have to absolutely learn how to nap in his crib absolutely he's just gonna have to deal with it because it's like when he naps is when we're able to do stuff but i think it also was like a moment of realization for me that this boy is getting more and more active he's not that little newborn anymore that just stays completely still you know that just like you put him down and they're gonna stay exactly but i'm like nope He's gonna move now so there's that but i'm okay Whew, it's okay okay i'm all dressed and ready to go my shirt is from shein it's just a hot pink button down and i just tied it a little funky just to add something to it uh jeans are one of my favorite pair of jeans i got them from abercrombie and fitch they have the best jeans especially for mom bods i have on Oh, these denim like kitten heels from JW Pay, I believe is how you pronounce it. Absolutely love these as well. Really comfy. Just some costume jewelry, you know, the Bottega earrings in my Amazon storefront. And then for a bag, honestly, I'm just doing this bag. And this is one of those like free bags that you get from like Ulta when you buy a fragrance. Reason being is all my purses are really, really big. Because I'm going by myself, like I said, I need to bring my tripod. It's supposed to rain, so I have my umbrella. I'm trying to bring you guys along. So I just needed a bag to kind of accommodate all those things. And that's it. So I already requested the lift. Um, it's a bit of traffic, so we are going to get here later than I expected. So you guys, it's only 23 minutes away. Right now, it's saying about almost 40 minutes. <laughs> so there's that. But it's all good. We're going to go ahead and head out. Stay standing if you're here in Atlanta. Okay, okay. Alright, so let's talk about 
about the very first community building tip that I have, which is to lean into who you are. And she talked about that a lot, right? And sometimes management doesn't look the same way for everybody. My manager is my husband. You'd be surprised who you might know who could represent you. Um, I actually had a poor experience when I hired an agency, but my best. <laughs> some lashes on and the clusters I just want to give cute at my lash appointment not my lash appointment I just want to give cute at my iron appointment Ha, <laughs> 